It feels like evil and corrupt cops are everywhere these days. And in times like these, it's always a satisfying moment to see them mess up and face the consequences of their actions. These cases highlight just that, especially this first one where an innocent jogger got arrested for no reason. These are RAS. <laughs> it's funny? My freedom is yeah. funny to you? Yeah, no, it is. It's hilarious. I just can't see on April 18th, 2023, Ryan Theodore was jogging a few blocks from his house when a police car started following him. Realizing something was fishy, Ryan took out his phone and started recording. Uh, no, thank you. Yes. No, thank you. No, come here. Are you detaining me, sir? Yes, I am. Stop. For what crime? Stop. What is your reasonable, turn articulate? Around. Do not touch turn me, around. sir. Turn around. For what have I done? I'm detaining you. Turn around. For what suspicion? What is your reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime? Yeah, multiple calls about you. What is your RAS? Right. Yes. This is unbelievable. What is your RAS? <laughs> it's funny? My freedom is yeah. funny to you? Yeah, no, it is. It's hilarious? I just can't see do that. Yeah, yes, you, you are. are when criminality is afoot and we do have what a complaint. What is your reasonable your articulable suspicion? The officer, who seems to treat Ryan's freedom as a joke, is actually Chief Owens of the Kent, New York Police. The police suspect Ryan of being the person going door-to-door -door harassing people, according to the caller who reported it to dispatch. Kent Police Department. Hey, what's going on? Um, I live over at uh, Seddon Road. Um, mm -hmm. I, I just saw somebody ring my doorbell. Um, I, you know, I usually have no problem with people like soliciting around, but dude was like looking up and down my house. He stood there for a little while. He was writing stuff down, and then I saw him on the Google camera going to my driveway, and it looked like he was looking at my truck. Um, I don't know if you want to just send somebody over there to see what this guy's doing over there. He's not on my, at my property anymore, but I can describe him to you. Yeah, he's wearing like gray pants. It looks like a. Uh, Tan, like Carhartt type hoodie. It's a uh, nail white. You can clearly see that Ryan did not match the description. Even if they didn't have his image at that point, the clothes he was wearing were very different. We don't have to give all that to you. What we're is the problem your cause? I have plenty of it. You do? I do. I've never seen you before. Well, good. Nice to meet you. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. This right? is happening in America? Yes, it I is. just saw that. You shouldn't be looking through people's windows. You got a man in your home at the wrong address, and then this is the follow up in this country? Let's talk for a second. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I want to be released right. and free. Oh, this is unbelievable. We'll bring him down for. Stand with this officer for a second. We're going to talk. I don't want to. Okay, that's what's going to happen. We're just going to talk for a second. This is, this is insane. insane. There it's is anybody available to film this? No, you're being filmed right now. No, I want a private. Are you seriously? What yeah, is your reasonable seat. suspicion? Have a seat. This is incredible that this is happening in America. Yep. I'm a free man. I've done no wrong. Well, now you're detained. That's fine. What were you doing in people's yards looking in their windows? What are you talking about? I know you have exactly evidence of this? Talking about. Absolutely. Where, uh, may I see it? Yeah, multiple I want an attorney present it. for any questioning. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. That's your right. When the cops actually tried to investigate the matter, they conveniently turned off the audio on their body cam so as to not reveal the up. All right, man, we're trying to figure out what's going on, okay? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, explain to you, what, you don't have to talk to me, I'm just gonna explain to you why you're in the back of the car right now, okay? We got a call from a bunch, several people saying that there's somebody entering properties, knocking on doors. Poking in windows. Uh, poking in windows, and they match, you match their description, so that's why you're, you're out where you are. Uh, yeah, ring doorbell camera. Oh, okay. So that's, like that's what it, that. That's fine, and we will, and we're confirming that. You're only being detained yeah. right now, okay? You're not under arrest. What do you mean I'm not under arrest? You're not under arrest. We're you're just trying to explain to you what's going on. Crime, what you say. Yeah, you're not you're charged with a crime, but you're not. You're not under arrest. You don't know what the word arrest means. Okay. Well, you're being arrest detained right now. Too. Okay. Detained would mean the whole. Okay, but I'm not here to argue with you. Can we just explain this? Exactly. But I am still under arrest. You put me in handcuffs. And if that's your definition of it right now, at this point, we're just talking. We're explaining you our circumstances. Oh, you've done more than talk, sir. Okay. Very fine. I don't care what you say. 
I'm just explaining to you what's going on right now. We're confirming if you match the description of that person right now. Okay. If you don't, and there's nothing wrong, you're going to be released. Okay. I wasn't here for that. I'm just telling you what we're here to do. You cannot do this to somebody. You have to have the evidence first Sir. before you can detain somebody. I didn't put handcuffs on you, did I? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Somebody did. Of course. And now you're being detained. And that's no, it. No, I'm under arrest. Okay. I haven't All right. Been we we, we try to track. tell you what's going on, okay? We just wanted to let you know you what's did. going on. All right. But you didn't tell me why okay. my license He's really not under arrest? Is that why Ryan was handcuffed and sitting down in a patrol car? What did he say to you guys when you were talking? Fuck it. Yeah, basically just the, uh, you know, you can't arrest me anymore. Like that. Just being difficult. Before you ask him if he knows this guy. Yeah. Hi, man. This is you. After receiving an image of the real suspect, the officers take a walk of shame to confront Ryan. However, in typical police fashion, they refuse to admit they were wrong. That looks like me. Sweatshirt. Well, you we have to find that out beforehand, before you can, you don't have reasonable articulable suspicion. Well, you we broke the law. No, you no, are the criminal no, in this instance. No, no. So we had two yes, separate you are. incidents. You are, are violating you with under color else? of law. Okay. I do not answer questions. Okay. I already said I wanted an attorney present for any questioning. Okay, we're not You are again you. violating my rights. What do you mean? You just asked me a question. Okay, hop on out, buddy. Is that an order? No, I'm just going to my car off there. Sitting on the hood of my car right there, you can grab it. Could you back up? I don't want to. No, I don't want anything good. to happen here. No, you're good. You're not going to hurt me. Yeah, you do. I do? You seem oh, like man. you do. I want something to happen. Yeah, you seem like you do. Look what they did to my wrist. After subjecting Ryan to a traumatic experience, the police simply drove away without offering any apology. Ryan subsequently filed a complaint against the officers involved and requested the body cam footage of the incident we witnessed. For, for what? I submitted a record request over 30 days ago, almost 40 days ago, and I have not received them. What was the record request? I have three separate ones. You want me to go into all of it? Unredacted footage yes, from yes. the April 18, 2022 that's incident. That's one. I have also copies of the other ones that I submitted. You'd like to see those as well. Okay, so that's the only one that I have. Yeah, let me get them. After this complaint, Ryan did receive an official letter from Jamie McGlasson, explaining that the officers did nothing wrong and it was his fault for invoking his right to not assist the police in their investigation. Hello YouTube, I'd like to say thank you for all your support over the past few weeks regarding my unlawful detainment by the Town of Kent Police Department. Today I submitted notice of claim to the Town of Kent and this is where I need your help. I've set up a GoFundMe page to pay for legal fees because unfortunately I've been unable to find an attorney willing to work on contingency because the dollar amount simply isn't high enough for them. If you could find it in your heart to leave me a donation, there is a link in the video and I'd like you to stick around to check me out submitting the notice of claim to the town of Kent clerk and town supervisor Jamie McLassen. To which Ryan intends on taking this matter up with the state attorney general. Let's hope he gets the justice he deserves.
While I'm glad these last cops faced some retaliation, these next ones got schooled on the law by your favorite First Amendment auditor, Long Island Audit. No, I'm not showing you anything. I'm not showing you anything, sir. Your reward shows. Get out, you better. This time, Sean was peacefully exercising his First Amendment right at the Pooler City Hall and police station in Georgia. Initially, everything went smoothly. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm here to see the uh, city clerk. Oh, uh, she's probably going to lunch. Hey, Connie. Hey, Chris. Who are you? I'm just want to see the city clerk. Somebody down here wants to see you. Ready to get a bite of the inch from your Oh, okay, great. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hey, are you looking for the city clerk? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to do an open records request. Okay. Do you want to do it verbally or do you want to fill out the form? I want to fill out a form. Okay, sure. You want to come with me? Sure. Okay. Are we still you want me to... Masks? Do you want me to? Oh, he got a mask. Yeah, he's got a take the camera through right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Phone, yeah, all you can put in there. Do you want to take the stairs? Um, take stairs. Okay, That's yeah, fine. The security staff at the city hall entrance were very cooperative, allowing Sean to pass through security checks without any issues. However, the positive experience ended there, as Sean was now headed toward the police department side. I don't, I don't need any help. Yeah, you're in a you know, secure, you're in an employee parking lot. It's not a secure area. It's an employee parking lot. And you're not an employee. This is. And you're making employees feel uncomfortable. So when this, they this. Walk inside the building. So. This, this parking lot is not a secured area. Okay. It's public property. Okay. It might be only for employee parking. I'm not parking in here. My car is not parked in here. I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. Well, this is for employees. You're not an employee, and you're making it's employee. Our, it's employees parking. Listen sir. to me. You're making our employees feel uncomfortable when they come in and out from their vehicles. So that that's where the problem is. I understand what I I, I don't understand what you're saying because how would I make somebody feel uncomfortable? I don't understand. Because you're not an employee. And you're an employee parking lot. And you're making the employees feel uncomfortable. The officer clearly wasn't aware of the law. According to the First Amendment, recording a police officer in public view is a constitutionally protected act. Let me see your driver's license. Is there an ID? Sir, I, I don't have a legal obligation to give you a driver's license or an ID, sir. I don't understand. Am I being detained? No, you're not being detained. You keep on walking. Okay. If I'm not being detained, I'm going to continue about my business, sir. I'm going to do it here. I'm an independent I'm journalist. Do it the lot. Who, no who are you, sir? You're not, I'm the chief of police. You're the chief yes, of police. Sir, can, I, can I get your name? You can look it up on the internet if you're that smart. But why would I have to look it up on the internet, sir? What's your name? What? Where's the professionalism? What's your name? Where's the where's professionalism? The professionalism? My sergeant asked you for a driver's My first, license. Tell me if you tell me your name no, and no, identify no, no, no. yourself. We're not, we're not making we're not making tits for tats. This is a private. This is the employee parking lot. You're not an employee. The chief came storming out, aggressively demanding Sean to leave the area. If the chief doesn't know the law, what can you expect from his juniors? I want to submit a complaint. So I go inside to do that, yeah, or get him a complaint form. Look at the public interest. I need I need your names. It, it is your policy to give me your name. I, who, who do I know I'm filing a complaint against? I'll let you figure it out. Oh, you I gotta figure it out. out. That's real professional. You know everything else. That's real professional. Go nah, you can go ahead. You're you can go ahead. You. I want to submit a complaint. So I go inside to do that, yeah, or get him a complaint form. Look at the complaint. public interest. I need I need your names. It, it is your policy to give me your name. I, who, who do I know I'm filing a complaint against? I'll let you figure it out. Oh, I you gotta figure it out? That's real professional. You know everything else. That's real professional. Go nah, you can go ahead. You're you can go ahead. Sean tries to play them at their game and file a formal complaint. But we all know how those go. The police investigate themselves and find nothing wrong. What's your name? I need to file a complaint against you. Chief Ashley Brown. Chief Ashley Brown? Yeah. Okay, great. And your name, sir? Be professional, come on. Is it really that serious? You're not making yourself look good here. I'm just asking you for your name. Your name, sir? I'll wait for you to get over here so you can hear me. Oh, okay, thank you. Your name, sir? Heinzman. Heinzman. Heinzman? Yes. And do you have a badge number, Heinzman? Six 
654. Thanks. You fill it out. You don't need to. I can fill it out here. No. This is a public lobby. You're going to kick me out of a public lobby too, Chief? Oh, fill it out then. All right, you thank you. Out? Excuse me. You need a bargain pen too? Or? Excuse me. You can't record while you're in here. Why can't I record while I'm in here? I have a constitutional right to film the police in the course of their duty, sir. Is this department so uneducated and so inept at their job that you? it must be from the top down? Because your sergeant doesn't know when he can legally identify somebody. And you're telling me I can't film in a police lobby? Yes, I sure can. The chief wanted Sean gone from the lobby. The lobby paid for with our taxpayer dollars. Who exactly investigates the chief of police? The average salary for a chief of police in America is nearly $120,000 a year. It seems that's the price we're paying for incompetent leadership in our police force. Will you, will you guys allow me to do it here? I don't understand Not what's the big deal. Not if you record. But where's, where's, where's the signs that says I can't record in here? Where's, the, where's the law? You you, sh you sure do. This is a this is a constitutionally protected activity. So this that's what this is. It. As soon as you pass through that door, you're now private property. To it's public property. There's sensitive information. Both these windows can be called on video, so you can't record in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure thing. <laughs> I went in there with a spy camera or my sunglasses that record. It wouldn't be an issue, but these guys are just looking for a reason to lock me up. So we're not going to push it, but you know, we'll put them in the court of public opinion. Let's fill out this open records request. Yep. So what I'm requesting is all police department employees, names, titles, and salaries. Okay. Can I get a copy of that too? Uh, well, it seems like the Pooler police department is private property. Maybe it's the chief's personal home that would explain him being bothered by the general public recording him and his lackeys. Yep, so what I'm requesting is all police department employees' names, titles, and salaries. Okay. Can I get a copy of that too? Uh, it'll be sent to who does our open records request. And you didn't finish filling the form out. It requires an address at the top. No, I don't have to put an address. Yeah, complaint not going to be accepted. You didn't fill the form out, right? No, no, no. That's not how it works. Bring the chief. Bring the chief out here. That's a, is how it you, works. You're allowed to do an anonymous complaint. Okay. You, need, you did not make it anonymous. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you that the complaint's not valid. It doesn't matter. Because I want to speak to the chief. No. I want to speak to the chief. The chief's not here. You got me. I'm the one accepting the complaint. You're accepting the complaint on yourself. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you that it's you didn't finish. You didn't fill the form out correctly. So you can submit a complaint anonymously. Let me explain to you how something simple here. Anonymous would mean you didn't put your name and phone number. So you took the anonymous part. It doesn't out. matter. Encounters like these not only serve to educate corrupt police officers, but also enlighten the average person about their rights. Eventually, Sean's message resonated throughout the community, leading to an outpouring of support. And that's all for today. Do you think that police chiefs should be paid that much? Or do you believe they deserve a pay cut? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, consider subscribing. We post content like this all the time, so you won't want to miss out. Thanks again for watching. Maybe check out this next video right here.